What's poppin' y'all? So we're about to get into a video posted by Soccer Stories. This is why does Lewis bite his opponents? Oh my god. Okay, so I was not searching for this video. Of course, you guys know who watch my football reactions. You know that I've been reacting to, you know, several football reactions. And this happened to pop up on my recommended. And apparently there are soccer players biting. Okay, so without further ado, y'all, we're just gonna hop straight into this video because I need answers. Like dead ass. Why the hell does Luis Suarez keep biting players? He's bitten three players in his career. Three! It's so bad that Suarez even has an anti-biting clause in his Barca contract. Why does he do it? And why has huh? he struggled to stop? For real though? Did Lewis bite Bronislav Ivanovic because he's delicious? Ivanovic does taste great. He's not too filling. But seriously, there's a science behind why Suarez uses his overbite to punish opponents. You heard what? right. But why on earth does Suarez do it? Why would a player like him bite a competitor? It actually turns out to be incredibly interesting. Biting is, of course, completely childish. But it goes a little further. A doctor tried to explain why Suarez is always biting people. It's a way of evacuating your frustration, even if it's not the most elegant way. Biters bite as a response to aggression. They also bite to express aggression. So biters need to understand triggers and not lash out. <laughs> what? <laughs> Athletes like Suarez, um, they need to have rules and routines that are stronger than their emotions. So. Whenever frustration is coming up, whenever uh, these guys need to evacuate, they have to find uh, little tools, little firewalls they can create in order to uh, have self-control. They need to learn self-control, and that takes hard work. The poor guy isn't in full control of the habit. His biting first came to light in 2010. Suarez, then with Ajax, entered the public stage of his biting phase with a ferocious shoulder chomp. The victim, an innocent PSV Eindhoven midfielder. Isolated incident, right? Wrong. He bit into Bronislav's forearm in 2013 in an otherwise awesome season with Liverpool. He apologized and the PFA chairman felt compelled to weigh in. It's very depressing and embarrassing that it should happen. This sets such a bad example. Yeah. It is both sad and strange. And then, on football's biggest stage, the World Cup, he embarrassed Uruguay. Suarez was in the mood for Italian that day. Kellini was not expecting that. It was the final bite that we know of. Oh, he bit him the in the player shoulder. Luis Suarez is banned from taking part in any kind of football-related activity, administrative, sport, or any other for a period of four months in accordance with Article 22 of the FIFA Disciplinary Code. The most important part about dealing with a problem is admitting you have one. And Suarez did just that. In 2014, he said, he began to see a therapist to help cure him of his bitey impulse. What? Everyone has different ways of defending themselves. In my case, the pressure and tension came out in that way. And then came the words opposing players were praying to hear. I understand why biting is seen so badly. You know what they call that? Growth. Give credit where credit is due. <laughs> Luis Suarez finally learned it was not okay to bite people. And Luisito got help for an issue that was impacting his career. If you're struggling with impulse control, just know that there's help out there. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed I've never heard of such a thing. I really haven't. I, I, oh my God. Like there's people really out there struggling with that. And I was laughing, I shouldn't have laughed. But that's just, that sounds so crazy. You can't sit here and tell me that that doesn't sound like, oh my God, that sounds so weird but i guess all right y'all that was my reaction to this video if you guys enjoyed my reaction please make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next reaction video bye